Yes, we're live now. Okay, we might dance all night with the dark. However, we have, a, we have a Jennifer here. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello. I'm great. This is a great atmosphere here. Okay, so Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. Uh, first question. You okay? Everything okay? You you happy? It's only Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm super happy. I'm super excited and a bit nervous. Uh, but yeah, everything will be fine on Friday and uh, we will release a new album. <laughs> yes, that's why we're here. But let's go back. Yes. Let's go back to yourself. Uh, I would like to know, I'm sure everybody likes to know, how did you end up in the band? In Beyond the Black. Band. How did you end up in the band? And Beyond the Black, right? Yes. The band Beyond the Black. Well, I don't know how many projects you have, but yes, let's talk about this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I had a lot of bands. So uh, in general, music, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in this music industry since a long time. So, uh, but in the band, uh, the band was started in 2014. And um, basically it was based by or on what I did. So, um, yeah, I was the founder somehow of this band. So you started the band? Yeah, I was oh. uh, writing a lot of stuff and uh, okay. I was finding my own, uh, yeah, what I, what I wanted to do and my genre. And um, yeah, I was trying things out. And in the end, it got to, or I got to, uh, and some funny metal. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So, um, as you already mentioned, it, uh, this Friday is very exciting, releasing the new album. And uh, on this Friday, 13th, Friday, it's okay? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that this is something bad. It's well, something it's... positive for us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the band called Beyond the Black, and we just listening, dancing in the dark. So, well, should be all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good sign for us. Um, yeah, so how was the tour last year? Uh, the tour with Amaranth was amazing. Uh, we co-headlined with them and also had Butcher Babies and Ad Infinitum with us. And uh, this was just the best tour I've ever played, uh, to be completely honest, because, um, yeah, it was a special feeling uh, because we had these two or three years before And the first time touring again, um, everyone was so thankful and uh, yeah, every moment was so precious and you could feel that um, every day. And this was something very special. We were on tour like six weeks and um, I was healthy all the time. I never had that. Ooh. Andy, uh, now the question is, so you, you tour with the Amarantine and then you actually have a song together, you feed them uh, one of the songs? I don't remember which one was it. Uh, we have two songs together. Uh, yes. One of our album, it was a Wounded Healer with Elise. Yeah. And I did Make It Better on their album. Make It and Better, yeah. yeah. That yeah. one is spinning on Radio Blast Stream already for a couple of months. Ah. And uh, yeah, are we so excited to release that one on Friday? I'm so, I can't wait, really. I really believe me. It's true what I'm saying now. <laughs> It's really, I can't wait to release. At least, you know, we have those two at the moment. That's what I have available at the moment. Obviously, I have the whole album now, but we're not going to spoil <laughs> it before Friday. So That um, would be good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the thing is, the thing is, where are you getting the inspiration from, Jennifer? Um. I'm inspired by life. Um, I have to say that, um, of course, like everyone, but um, this pandemic, um, we don't want to talk about it too much, but it it is somehow something that impacted us every uh, a, a lot. So um, also this album, so um, where we were forced to have this break and um, 
thinking about some basic questions uh, personally as well as about the band and um, yeah there were a lot of stuff that I was thinking about a lot of um, things about death as well uh, but also about things like Into the Light um, is a song about people that are yeah um always running and running and running and trying to succeed and or success success that's the most important thing for them i know how it feels because sometimes i'm running as well but um this song shall remember that it's about enjoying life um so it's not about just running and uh yeah enjoying these moments and uh what you've succeeded and all of that stuff so yeah this is what we were talking about um, as well on this album. Yeah, it was a part of the, you know, the, the last two, three years was a part of the day, daily life. You know, it was infected everyone, the whole planet, obviously. So mm -hmm. uh, I was sort of kind of expecting that, you know, listen to some, uh, you know, feedbacks from the band, you know, after after Matt, you know, all these kind of trying to go, go away. So it's all around us was, you know, affecting us for two, three years all of mm -hmm. us and uh, some countries they still you know heavily affected so mm -hmm. um it's still it's still there so and it's still you know uh killing people so it's unfortunately that's that's we dealing with uh at the mm -hmm. moment um the, the the important question now is so you're gonna you're gonna release the album now this friday mm -hmm. and what will be the next are you releasing some new video music video or will be some touring again what's what's that What's the next thing? We will have a new music video on the release day and it's a nerdy again. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we had some some cosplay stuff during uh, the music video of uh, reincarnation, but also winter is coming. And I really love that. And uh, yeah, we continue to to tell the story of this this whole album. And uh, yeah, and then we have some festival shows in the summer and uh, we're planning a lot of stuff and we have something to be released. And um, yeah, and then in the end of the year, we will have a tour in Europe. So oh, uh, cool. yeah, but it's not released till now, but you can stay tuned. We will release yes. it very soon. Yes, yeah, stay tuned. That's I like the world. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the I was I was trying to ask a question about the the um the album. Oh, you said the, the the tour at the end of the year. Are you stopping by in the UK as well? On it's on your list or not? Uh, it's always on the list. Always. <laughs> okay. Um, I cannot say like hundred uh, percent because we have released it, but uh, of course we want to step by. Good. Perfect. All right, maybe we can we can say hello to each other. Would and be everybody great. else, all your fans, you. I'm sure there will be tons of fans, you know, because uh, the album is absolutely amazing. I love it. And for all those fans, you know, who like uh, symphonic symphonic metal, it's definitely brilliant album, and will be released this Friday on 13, and will be available, I'm sure, on all the platforms we can buy. Oh yeah, listening. everywhere. Brilliant. Everywhere. And who is your label with? Nuclear Blast? Nuclear Blast. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So we have all the covered and uh, social media. So Facebook, Instagram, all the social media you guys covered. So the, the album called the same same name, Beyond the Black, like like the band. Uh, and there is a 13 pieces on it, if I'm counting correctly. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It is um, like 10 new songs and three uh, special versions of other songs. And I really love them, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah. And I'm so excited to finally release it because we finished uh, writing the songs and recording uh, half a year ago. <gasps> really? So oh, we're wow. waiting for... Big, big waiting, yes. Six months. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. Yeah. But at least you you guys been busy, you know, with the touring, with Amaran time, and all kind of different of bands. I saw, you know, uh, how was it? It was like, uh, let me just take a look here quickly. Let me just go back. Whoa! So, <laughs> okay, almost two months in a row. Wow, that's a that's a long list. How was the touring? You know, with two bands, three, four, five bands together. How is it? It's uh, always nice and smooth. 
<laughs> it was amazing, really. Um, we had four bands, and that's a lot. Um, but um, for me, it was the best tour we've ever played. Um, really, very honest. Because, um, yeah, you could feel that everyone was so thankful uh, to be back on stage, um, to have the, the people, the crowd in front of the stages again, to, yeah, to, to feel the emotions that we... That, yeah, that we want to express on stage. So, um, yeah, that, that's just amazing. And it felt great to be there. And I was healthy all the time. And that was really, really good. Awesome. Awesome. So, now the question will be, um, hmm. Mm -hmm. else I forget? <laughs> no, I forget the question. That's that's all it is. It's happened to me all the time, so don't worry about that. I should start writing no the questions, you know, on the on the <laughs> piece of paper. But then I spoil the whole thing because I start writing and, and start reading the questions, um, and then it's very boring. So anyway, uh, let's go. Let's go back to the to the music. So you said you know, it's you know for, you get inspired by the life, mm. and uh, inspired by the life potentially well. The latest two three years was, you know, um, big, influential, I believe. Mm -hmm. And who is your like um, influencer? I um, mean, musically, like what what do you listen when you're driving between tours, and what are you listening to? Um, that's different, but um, for me. What was super inspiring during the pandemic was uh, movie theme music, like Hans huh? Zimmer and uh, huh. something like this. I was so much listening to that. So um, this was also the reason why um, I was so, so happy to write uh, I Remember Dying. It's the last song of the, the original songs. And um, it was meant to be a very special song. So, um, and this means for me, okay, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and Ooh. for me, it was, um, yeah, just putting this, this, um, music, this movie kind of theme music into Beyond the Black world. So uh, this was super interesting for me because I was um, imagining um, Lord of the Rings also, like the nerdy stuff and also Lion King Choir. If you're listening to the song, maybe you can also get the vibe of this. And uh, yeah, this is, was inspiring me a lot. Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer from... Uh... Black Beyond. That ah, sorry, sorry. Beyond the Black. The other way around. Beyond the Black. <laughs> <laughs> beyond the Black. Beyond the Black. Okay, uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, is there anything else you like to add before I let you go? I just want to say to everyone who's uh, watching here, thank you so much for your interest and um, everyone who's supporting his favorite band. Thank you so much because we all need it at the moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for everything. And we're, we're so looking forward to release this album. And we hope that uh, you may be, uh, you're interested in what we do now. And maybe you come to a concert uh, because we will meet UK very soon again. Oh, brilliant. That's a good news. So we can see you, listen and see you live in uh, one of the shows in the UK, which will be announced anytime soon, I'm sure. And But before that, it's, you know, we can short the wait. Uh, by the new release album which will be uh, released on Friday from uh, uh, Beyond and Black and Jennifer is the founder and vocalist from the band and lyricist you know probably the music as well if I'm not mentioning if I'm not mistaken and uh, it's amazing so I would like to play a little bit from the uh, from the album we have two release singles from the album so we can uh, play today and uh, this one called Winter is coming. There you go. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Appreciate your Thank time. You. And I'll see you soon. One of the live shows. Yeah. Have to see ya. Bye bye. Right. Have a great Thank day. you very much. Cheers. Bye bye.
Yeah, and the rest of it you can get on Friday. Have a good night. Thank you very much, Jennifer. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. bye. See ya. Ha <laughs> ha.